Welcome to tutorial 11, Reporting. City Engine's reporting functionality lets you create detailed reports on all the models which were created with CGA. In the provided tutorial PDF, multiple examples are explained step by step. As a short reference for this video, I have created another little set of examples to provide a quick overview without having to dig too deep in the other provided documentation. So let's zoom in on this uh, area here. We see there is a shape which just scatters a certain amount of trees on them. Now maybe we are interested in how many trees are actually placed. So I can do this. So let me open the code here and adapt this. Let's go into the code. So what we are doing here is um, trees is the start shape as we see here or the, the start rule. And there we have a scatter, a scatter operation where we distribute a certain number of trees. And then in the put tree rule we have this report here. So I'm reporting the number of trees and for each of the instances, so for each of the copies of for each tree, I am adding one. So in the end, when I select uh, the shape or the generated model, under the reports tab here, I see number of trees 114. So let's continue with the next example. So for example, here in this very simple uh, building, without the roof, we want to calculate how many tiles are there on the facades. So in this example here we have building which is the start rule, then we extrude to 50 meters high and we take all the facades, so basically all the sides, and split vertically and horizontally into tiles and then we report um, the number of facade tiles and for each of those again we are reporting the value of 1. So in this example here the number is 460 tiles. So if I'm going in and adapting this value here or if I'm changing the, the underlying footprint you now see that the number has changed to 420. Okay and now in the Last example here, uh, this goes a little bit into urban planning and how to get statistical um, overviews or uh, statistical data uh, based on an urban design of a lot. So in this code here, so let's quickly look at this lot here. So this is the street side here. Um, what we are doing is, as in one of the other tutorials before, we are first doing a setback of from the street, then we are doing a second um, setback of, of the back and then we are creating another um, offset or another setback which is going around until we um, create our imaginary building footprint. Then on this, uh, on this footprint we are creating um, a building which is 40 meter high and has a floor height of 4 meters. So in, in total this is 10 floors here. Now what are, what are, are we uh, reporting in this case? So we are reporting at the very beginning we are reporting the lot area and we see here the entry in the reports tab the lot area is actually uh, 1500 square meters. Then we go on and create the actual building footprint and in the footprint we are reporting the next element which is the footprint area. And here we see that this is 864 square meters and in general based on that ratio what we can do is calculate the lot coverage which is in this case 57%. And then after the extrusion and the split into the floor volumes, again we can report um, the GFA value or to the GFA value and in this case for each of the floors 
we are calculating the bottom face area so basically the, the floor area for each of those floors and this then gets summed up to the GFA value which is in this case um, 8640 so basically 10 times a standard footprint area in this case and then the last value which is the FAR value or the floor area ratio this just um, divides the um, the bottom face for each of the floors so each floor area divided by the lot area and this then is summed up and this is in this case the FAR value is 5.76 so this is um, a very simple example of how urban planning um, can be done in City Engine and you still have the whole um, arithmetical precision for all the geometries. I hope you learned something in this tutorial, so let's continue with the next one.